Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So most global equity markets are um, slightly lower this morning following um, some interesting data come to come out of the US, actually much stronger data than what was uh, what was expected. If we actually just go back here and have a look at the ISM uh, Purchasing Manufacturers Index, um, you can see there that they were expecting 56.2 but it came in at 30 point, uh, 60.3 which is way higher than expected. ATP Power Payroll is pretty much disappointed and um, where we are right now is in the scenario where that September rate hike is looking like it could uh, in fact still, still come to pass. So you have one of the Fed uh, presidents uh, Flockhart, Dennis Flockhart come out uh, on Wednesday, I'm uh, sorry, on Tuesday night, basically to say it would take significant deterioration of the macro fundamentals before he, uh, before he would remove his support for a September rate hike. So that pretty much is the, is the lay of the land at the moment. We're trading below 17,561, other technicals relatively neutral, um, kind of an uh, ugly daily candle from yesterday, way off the daily highs and traded below and closed below 17,561. So the pressure looks to be on the US 30. So looking at the UK 100, a similar type of, type of deal where we were up much higher only to come up down. 67.71 potential resistance, also coincides with 55 period SMA, that's provided short term potential resistance, whereas 66.86 will be potential support. Then moving on to Japan 225, uh, dollar yen broke 124.42 yesterday, On so the dollar is really kind of ramping up its um, its engines. Um, so 28.68 pretty much got hit yesterday. It's just slightly below it at the moment. Interesting to see that managed to break through. Looking at dollar yen, uh, dollar yen now has firmly broken uh, 124.42. It's actually at um, 124.80 at the moment. Uh, 126 will be the next potential resistance level. So this broken uh, resistance may now act as support. So moving on to West Texas crude, uh, on the back foot again, um, 4330 is going to be your next potential support level, a break of 4585 now. Very volatile session yesterday, followed through with more weakness this morning as that US dollar begins to ramp up. That's obviously going to have an effect on commodity prices. And gold looks like it's pretty much breaking below the bottom end of this um, symmetrical triangle formation. So um, $1,046 is long term potential support. We've not had a, a confident break of it yet, but maybe we will soon. And then moving on to your dollar and GBP USD. So your dollar not doing a huge amount. Um, kind of a spinning top yesterday. Similar formation today. Nothing really that exciting. Trading below both moving averages. One spot zero seven eight six is potential support. And then finishing up with GBP USD. Um, actually, the sterling's managed to uh, actually gain a little bit of momentum versus the dollar. So the dollar has really advanced against the uh, against the Japanese yen. But it does look to be that the euro and GBP are, are, are putting on a good, a good show for us. So it looks to be that GBP USD is uh, trading above one spot 56. An area has been oscillating around for the whole of July. And it looks like it's probably going to continue to do that. Tips these candles are indicative of selling interest, probably close to the 156.60, which we're not too far away from just now. So I come date wise today, uh, we've got the housing index for the UK. That's coming out very shortly by the time I'm recording this video. Uh, the Bank of England MPC minutes, uh, that's not expected to deviate too much from, uh, from from previous months, but might give us some extra insight. Usually comes with a statement as well, um, which could be kind of interesting for cable um, because it looks like UK rates could rise maybe in July or uh, February next year. And then if we go on to Friday, obviously Friday is a big day because you've got non farm payrolls, you've got industrial production in Germany to kickstart things off. Then you've got um, non farm payrolls right here. 1.30 UK time and that pretty much is all we've got for the rest of the session. So as ever guys keep your eye on the chart for make insights part of your layer going forward and join me again um, tomorrow to find out what happened next.